With SEO, you would think that it's too hard to outrank a big company because they have a high domain authority, thousands if not millions of backlinks, and they have a big marketing team with a huge ad budget. So it's impossible to outrank them, right? Wrong. Actually, it's very doable. What most people don't tell you is big companies move really, really, really slowly. For example, I don't have enough fingers on my hand to count how many companies we work with that all the content has to get approved by legal before it goes live. Just think about that. You write a piece of content, optimize it for users and marketing, but before you publish it, you have to send it to legal. And in many cases, legal tears it apart, modifies it so much you can't use it. So then what do you have to do? You have to fix it all up again, use their comments, adjust, and then send it back to them for approval. And if you're lucky enough, they'll have no changes. And then you can get it up on their site. Do you see why you can beat these big companies? They don't just move slow on content or even marketing. It's most parts of their business. Now, this doesn't mean that you should take them for granted. Instead, you should pay attention to the changes they are making because they typically prioritize them based on what's going to help them the most, which can give you ideas on what you should test next or implement next beyond just SEO. But speaking of SEO, how do you beat these big companies? Well, there's a simple playbook that I like to run that I found that it works just in most cases. Step one, build links through animated graphics. I've talked about this in the past, but infographics are one of the best and easiest ways to build links. Tools like Infogram can help you build them quickly. With one of my first companies, Kissmetrics, we got over to 1 million visits a month, and we mainly did it through link building, specifically through infographics. But if you want your infographics to really do well, add in some animation. Here's an example of one that breaks on how engines work. Step two, write content and keep it updated monthly. See, big companies write content, but not as often as you would think. And once they write the content, they don't update it often. But do you know what Google loves? Fresh content. Hence, Wikipedia dominates rankings and is one of the 10 most popular websites in the world according to SimilarWeb. And they get a ton of their traffic from Google. With your content, try to update your main pages at least once a month. And when I say update, I don't mean just deleting a sentence or adding one or updating an image. I mean updating it to be more valuable than the competition. Your competition is continually updating their content. Make yours better than theirs and keep it better than theirs. So continually keep track of the main keywords that you want to go after each month with these pages. Search them on Google, look at your competition, see what they're always doing, at least the ones in the top 10, and make sure your content is always better than theirs. Step three, add tools to your website. You know I have the Ubersess tool, but did you know that it has over 24,000 unique backlinks? That's a lot of links. And you don't have to build a crazy tool to get links. My A-B testing calculator tool is dead simple, yet it has 687 unique links. It's not bad. And if you don't want to build a tool, just go use sites like Code Canyon where you can find tools, white label them, and pop them on your website. Step four, use schema markup. One way to beat these big companies is to optimize for click-throughs. See, it's hard to beat them at the linking. But did you know that Google looks at click-through rates? A great example of this is if a thousand people search for the term dog food and everyone naturally clicks on the second listing instead of the first listing, what do you think that tells Google? It tells them that people prefer the second listing. It doesn't matter if the first one is better SEO or more links, Google will eventually take that second spot and move up to number two because that's what people prefer. In other words, if you can get more people to click on your listings over the competition, even if you rank underneath them, you can do well and schema markup can help with this. A great example for this is just do a search on Google for a restaurant. It typically has a star rating. That's an example of schema markup. Step five, optimize your title tags for click-throughs. This is kind of like step four, but it's a little bit different than using schema markup. We already talked about click-throughs, right? The more clicks you get, the higher you can rank. So I want to break down 10 ways you can optimize your titles and meta tags to increase your click-through rate. One, titles with questions have a 14.1% higher click-through rate. Two, you can get roughly 8.6% higher click-throughs from a title with 15 to 40 characters instead of something that's longer or shorter. 
So make sure your titles aren't too long or too short. Three, you can get up to a 45% increase in click-throughs when the exact query someone is searching for is in your URL. Example of this is if you search for a term digital marketing, I would wanna make my URL neilpatel.com slash digital dash marketing. Four, powers can increase your click-throughs by roughly 13.9%. A great example of a power word is effortless, such as seven effortless ways to boost your rankings. Five, get roughly a 7.3% higher click-through rate for titles that contain emotions versus ones that don't have any emotion. Six, and you can get roughly a 5.8% higher click-through rate if you have a meta description. So make sure you add one to each of your pages and don't rely on Google. Seven, titles with years generate roughly 4.9% more clicks, such as the Beginner's Guide to SEO 2025 edition. Now, of course, you wanna use the year you're in, you don't wanna use 2025, but you get the point. Eight, evoking curiosity can increase clicks by 5.9%. Example of this, the seven benefits of green tea. Number six will shock you. Wait, number six will shock you, what's number six? That's an example of evoking curiosity. Nine, titles that resemble education roughly have 10.4% more clicks. And 10, you're more likely to be successful if you looked at paid ads because they're also scored on clicks. So look at all the paid ads in Google for the terms you wanna rank for, and that'll give you ideas on what to use in your title tags and meta description. Now the next step, build a brand through social and PR. What a lot of startups can do that large companies can't is use social media and PR. Just look at how much content I push out. So create content regularly and push it out daily. And with PR, you can do performance-based PR where you only pay if you get results. A lot of companies like PRServe offer that. The more people that see your brand, the more people that'll search for it on Google, and the more likely that you'll rank higher on Google because that sends signals to Google that you have a strong brand. Now, I know what I covered is a lot, so if you need help implementing any of this, check out my ad agency, NP Digital, where we help companies do all this plus more. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, tell people about it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.